Hey, did you know that particles make you, me, and the universe? This is the standard model. Each particle have classification into either a fermion, which is a matter particle, or a boson, which is a force particle. Fermions must obey something called the Pauli exclusion principle. This means that no two fermions can build on top of each other. Compare this to bosons that can. Now let's take a closer look into the fermions. It comprises of the electron and two quarks, the up quark and the down quark. These quarks make up what we know as protons, positively charged particles, and neutrons, neutrally charged particles. When protons and neutrons come together, they make the nucleus. And when we add electrons into the mix, it makes an atom. And when we add many atoms together, they make these. The fourth main molecule is the neutrino, also known as the ghost particle. However, nature did not stop there. It made two copies of each of these particles. The only difference is their size. Now, particles need to interact. Without these interactions, nothing interesting would happen. We need forces. There are three forces, each associated with particles that make up the bosons. The electromagnetic force, the strong force, and the weak force. Now, the most important particle, the Higgs boson, which has a Higgs field giving all the other particles mass. And there you have it, the complete model. But why is this important? Because this equation serves as one of the most successful equations that allow for scientific exploration, experimental research, and allows scientists to make predictions. Now, the standard model omits from the phenomenon of gravity and dark matter, meaning that 95% of the energy in the universe is unknown to mankind. And the question lies, what is beyond the standard?